how can you build a tri square if it's a rectangle? What do you reckon? Is that good? That or? is crap. Because <laughs> you turned the water speed <laughs> up, you dog. That looks fing mental. The boys are getting them picks. Must mean it's good. Welcome to Roblox. Let's build a tri. Today is the most exciting day of the build yet, in my opinion. We are gonna fab up a tray. So definitely go on a steel tray because there's a whole bunch of steel sitting over there. So we did do up like a, a sort of a static drawing and got like a, what's called a cutting list. So we measured everything on the tray um, and then sent that off to a steel supply place and they've pre-cut everything. So basically today is just like a big jigsaw puzzle. There is gonna be a little bit of modifying, but pretty much we have all the material that we need. We've got a welder, we've got a Ryan, we've got a Tom and we've got a patrol. Let's get cracking on a tray. Let's go. This is what we call the cutting list. So it's just a little basic design of, of what the tray is gonna look like and the measurements. And it's just a cutting list up top. We have, um, Basically just gone through and numbered everything and all the steel that I've got here is numbered as well So all we have to literally do is just sit four and four together and two and two together and just go through until it looks like a tray Stitch it all together whack it on the car. It's not gonna be that easy guys trust me, but um, Yeah, first time building a tray first time with anything sort of this to this scale as a welding project So I'm pretty excited to get started Let's Show you guys the steel and then we can lay it out on the ground. So the steel that we're using is two mil thick um, now I'm going to do a 75 by 50 sort of uh, frame, I guess you'd call it, around it. The rear section is a 100 by 50, so that'll allow us to put some nice lights in and all that. And the headboards are 75 by 50 as well. But as you can see here, when the steel guy dropped it off, I just went through and just marked like three, so that our cutting list it just makes it easier that we can just lay it out on the ground. And that's what me and Ryan are going to do right now. Just going to lay it down so we can just start looking at what needs to be done. at the stage for our first weld what we've done instead of building it off the ground is um, we basically something flat across the top this is just some old cut out steel there's something flat across the top and then our four mil packer actually spaces that down four mil which will allow the, the um, floor of the tray to sit flush with this rail here um, we're perfectly square on both sides and we've checked the measurement from there to there and vice versa so now that we're happy with that, we can pretty well just stitch a couple of um, tacks in there and we don't want to get too much heat in it because it can start like bending this back towards this way or, or whatever it sort of does with heat. We spoke to a fabricator, he pretty much said that this is the correct way to do it. Building it on the floor upside down and then space in the bottom, you can flip it over and you can get a lot of like variances in your measurements. So now that we're spaced up, we've got 50 mil packers under each. Um, and then we're squaring everything off the actual top of it. So everything's flush. Everything's flush with this pretty much. So it's, it's basically just means it's square by itself, yeah, doesn't it? that's right. This brings in the square on its own. So all we have to do is make sure the corners are square and we'll get a perfect box. Right, so to build this in a perfect square, we're going to put the back rail in. We've got a piece of 100 mil that's actually going at the rear, but it needs to be like mitered in and all that correctly. So we are just going to go up to the next rail, 
work across that side and that'll bring us into a perfect square. Then we can do our next rails up. So we've got a three, is it 380 mil? Yeah. 380 mil space in between each rail. So we've checked corner to corner, dead square. It took us a bit of mucking around to get these right, but they, the, the tray is basically as square as we're ever gonna get it. We've checked our gaps. These are just resting in there just so we could measure. But it's all looking pretty good, boys. Pretty stoked with this. And I cut my finger really bad. Oh, I had blood trailing up there, but you get that on the small jobs. I'm oh, not there, Ryan, not there. Too late now. <laughs> no porosity in that one, mate. Right, so that's left us with the perfect four mil rebate. So our, pretty much our sheet will come across and it'll just butt up nicely to that and we can get a sicker flex join. That's why we're doing it like that. It's all looking pretty good. Nice and short tray. done on the sides and on the actual top of it and me and Ryan have decided we're going to have a welding comp so I'm going to do this side he's going to do that side we're going to see who can lay some dime bags and um, best looking weld wins well, no, we're amateurs by the way definitely amateurs but best looking weld wins so you've got pretty well pretty much four attempts at a good yeah. weld so the, it, that's the rule eight yeah yeah we don't have to buy a lunch let's do that yeah five dollar pizza yeah Righto, so I'm going to start on this side. I'm going to do some prep. Hold on, you can have this side because you've really tried to tempt it. One, nah, mate, one that's doozy yours. over here. That's yours, mate. <laughs> that's your side because I've done all the welds on that side anyway. But anyway, I'm going to actually do some prep work this time because we're not prepping the other side. So I'm going to flap, flap as much as I can, wipe it down, get rid of the porosity. Ryan's prepping as well. Nah, I was just going to be my side. I did all the welds on this side anyway. Yeah, righto. Yeah. That's all yours. What the hell's taking you so long, mate? I'm sorry, mate, you're hogging all the tools. All prepped up. Are you worried? I grind, ground this existing one down that Ryan did. It's it's a bit, bit. I didn't do that. <laughs> it's a bit bird shitty, mate. That Come on. You, mate. Come on. Anyway, we got four attempts each. All for a pizza. I'm getting freaking hungry too. Yeah, come love a meat lover, Sam. Yeah, you would, wouldn't you? You look like a meat lover's bloke. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna do what's called an overlap weld. It help if I the air. That's crap. It's not great. <laughs> it's not great. I think I'm going to lose this to be honest. Because <laughs> they're not great. I mean that one's good. That one's real good. That That's my best one. I'll take him. You can hear him panicking. Honestly, I don't think it's hot enough, that world. I oh, do, look at the way it's penetrating the steel. It's not there. Mate, that sh on yours. You just want to give you the... Nah, that's crap. You want to go buy us pizza now? That's or? crap. What do you reckon, guys? A, an overlap weld, strong as an ox, or this little, little weld that didn't even penetrate? Look at that. Where's the penetration? It's about, so, it's about the same height as Mount Vesuvius, that one. <laughs> what do you reckon, is that good? That or? is crap. Jeez, man, that's that is horrid. Pus. That's horrible. What, what happened there? Because <laughs> you turned the wire speed up, you dog. 
<laughs> no, that was that's that instant loss for some. Your life. fault for not watching the machine, mate. <laughs> Supposed to do everything at once. Good, a, a good welder never blames his equipment. Mate, instant loss for sabotage. It's a bit fluttery, mate. Stop touching it. I'm not touching it. I swear. There's that, no way you have That doesn't that sound up. like good. I promise you I didn't touch that. That was shocking. That does not sound good. It was shocking. I think we're going to have to cut this all off and redo it. <laughs> You're a dog. Oh, I didn't touch it. I swear in my life I didn't touch it. You'll see in the video. Yeah, I, I reckon I won that. That is crap. You still lost to that. No, there's no penetration on that one. Bull Ryan's picking that one. In the comments, put it down. Whose weld is better? That little one. I don't know if you guys can see the edge in there. It's it's not penetrating. Actually, if you come from this side, you can see it's banging penetration. Right, it's banging the corner. Where? Yeah. All right. We'll let the let the people decide about this one. That one. Or this one. Tom's birdfish. Look at that. Look how fat that boy is. He's trying to redeem himself. I definitely reckon I won that. <laughs> I'm being serious. That, it's straight, but it's That, look at the, look at that one. Come and have a look yeah, at it. Look, these weren't great. Come on, have a look. I'll probably admit defeat here. We're making pretty good progress, eh? Like, we're doing pretty well. We've got the tray perfectly square. Um, everything's welded in terms of like what you can see. It's fully welded. And just chucked a bit of primer on it, because why not? But previously, we did just 45 where the headboard's gonna go. So, before we go any further, because we do have to weld behind here, I think we're just gonna um, whack these two headboards on, which we've already 45 the bottom as well. So they will just sit pretty well like that. They'll just sit like that, get welded. Um, then we can stuff around with the angles later, because it's like once it's on the truck, you can even do that. But yeah, it's, it's looking pretty good. It's looking... Looking pretty schmicky, mate. That's, what do some people say? Schmicky mouse. Do it? Yeah, I don't know. I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I'm not saying it. I shouldn't be Yeah. All right, so we're just gonna quickly, so we'll quickly just do a time lapse of getting these on. You guys have probably seen enough welding and all that. So we, we probably shouldn't let this bloke weld it though. Cause you know, some of those welds, mate. We actually ran out of gas and funnily enough um, one of my mates was driving past and he happened to have a bottle so he dropped it off so since we were filming last we got a fair bit done might not look like it but when he was here the guy who dropped the bottle off he said that our welds on here just weren't good enough so um, pretty much we've gone around beefed up every single weld we turned the welder right up and just laid some fat boys on there so we've done that we've ground down all our tops here because um, we do have the sheet that's going to come across that. We have fully stitch welded this on, so that's all nice and flat back. That's ready to be folded. We have stitch welded this on. All underneath has been beefed up and um, the rear section has been notched. So <clears throat> pretty much the way that this rear section is going to work is this box here. I've actually marked. Yeah, you can hold it up, mate. Cut that, like notched it on both sides with a four mil, uh, four mil rebate once again here and that will just sit in there. It'll get welded, fully seam welded across here, and then our taper will start on the bottom here, which is a 300 mil taper. And that way we've got plenty of, uh, plenty of room to basically mount the lights and, and the number plate and all that sort of stuff. So we are making some pretty good progress. Me and Ryan are pretty happy with where we're at. We're losing daylight very quickly, but we are gonna stay back until this is pretty much bolted on the ute. Actually, that reminds me, Ryan has gone ahead and um, drilled out all these 50 mil box sections. So these are just 50 by 50 by 50 by 50 by 50 by 50 by 50. And uh, as you can see, there's a big bolt through there. So these guys here are what the chassis rail is just gonna sit along like that. And then our tray is actually gonna plonk on top of the chassis rail and we'll weld it to the chassis rail underneath. So- Do you wanna say chassis rail one more time? I'll say it one more time, just chassis rail. <laughs> I think the next step is gonna be to start folding these headboards 
Um, because I didn't want like a weld across the face here, I actually wanted that to be a fold. So, um, if you guys can see my canopy out the back here, everything is being built to the specs of this canopy because this is what we call like an off, off the shelf canopy. So, the width of this is 1780, the exact same as what I'm building the tray. The height is 850, which will be exactly the same height as the headboard, and it works out very well with the roof of the car. So, the angle here is actually a 20 degree angle. So this is what I'm talking about where we need to start um, bending that, that main hoop that we've got on the headboard there. So what we do there is basically I've measured this with an angle finder and that's 20 degree. And so all we need to do is measure up from the ground um, this sort of height. So say that, I don't know what it is yet, but say it's 450, we'll mark 450 on our box and then we'll do half of 20, so 10 mil that way, 10 mil that way, and that'll allow us to notch that main beam and actually fold it over so we don't have a sink so we don't have a weld pretty much like that and then we just have to find the top section with which will just be a distance of box so that's what we're going to try and do next because it needs doing um, and i want to do it before we get it on the ute So the next step is to actually, like the easiest way to do this that me and Ryan can think of is we clamp our, um, our other piece of box here and then we measure, because my canopy is 850 high, we measure 854 to allow for the floor off this box section to the top of the, um, of the piece of box and that's gonna leave it the exact same shape exactly. as, the, yeah. as the canopy. Unless you wanted it a couple mil higher, but I can't nah. see why. I reckon exactly the same looks better. It always looks better, yeah. Yeah, so to match that canopy, 854 off the floor to the top of that bar. Righto guys, so why Ryan's just quickly welding up that headboard, I'm gonna start, um, I think, I honestly think this cut is called a French cut. It's basically when you just cut down one side, you basically cut so you leave a flap that you can then fold up and stitch. Um, so pretty much you just gotta cut this with an angle grinder and then flip it over, cut the other side and then cut a line in. It's gonna be pretty simple. But this is pretty well the last piece that needs to get welded on to make it an actual tray. There's like a cross beam and all that, but I don't know if we're gonna to get to that today. Um, making pretty good progress, it's getting pretty late, but let's get into this.
I was about 9.30 right now, and um, we're just about to tuck on that rear piece. We're actually fully welded on, but we're all getting pretty tired. So once that's on, um, Ryan's actually got these chassis rails pretty well welded on. So we can actually just sit the tray on the back of the ute, just put a couple tacks on it, and that way it's not gonna be floating around the workshop sitting like that. And um, I can sort of finish it in my spare time. So we're gonna weld that now and have a look, I guess. Hey Ryan. Let's get into it. The tray is pretty well ready to get on the back. We've got Monish here, the old school Monish brother. Right, so obviously stuff is just tacked, like just this rear section is pretty well, I mean, it's welded in some spots, but it's pretty well just tacked in. Um, still got a headboard to sort of create like the bottom section of it and sheet it, obviously, but we need to get it on the ute, so. We can go home. We can go home, that's correct. Honestly, for that to be measured off a canopy and to be that close to like suiting a patrol. The boys are getting them picks. Must mean it's good. For a couple of young blokes to whip that up. It actually just made the patrol look so much better. I'll pull that off. <laughs> Right, oh guys, the tray's done. So I'm pretty proud of me and Ryan for getting this done, especially, like, what time did we start? 10 o'clock? 12 hours. Yeah, I think it was 10, 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock now. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty proud of us for getting as far as we have gotten, especially for the hiccup of um, running out of gas. And then we, we had a couple of hiccups. I mean, everyone would in a project this size, but obviously not finished. So there's going to be more episodes on just tidying this up. Um, but very stoked with how it looks now. It's a perfect length for me. Ryan would go a little bit longer. He's going to build a tray for himself. Well, we're going to build him a tray. But um, it's a perfect length for me, and I think it looks sick. Can't wait to see the, the rear lights. And I have ordered like some circle black ones that'll flush mount in behind this box section here. And what else are we going to do? Tie build up the headboard, headboard. Lay the floor. And lay the floor. And then drive it. Number plate lights. I was thinking about recessing the number plate. Too. Yeah, that'd look good, I think. That's about it, I think. Build one for the D-Max. Yeah. Yeah, Ryan's got a D-Max, so we're going to get one on his pretty soon, hopefully. But um, it might take a bit longer because his mounts might be different heights. See, the GQ, the mounts are basically perfectly flush, so you just chuck a rail on it. It's pretty simple. Like, took us what? Well, took you did the mounts, really. Yeah. yeah. It didn't even take very long. Probably an hour's worth it. It's a trade done, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on another episode, eh? I'll call that it. It's getting late. Head to the website, roamlife.com, to get a sticker. <laughs> Sound like an auctioneer then. Head to the Roam Life sticker! Come on, let's go, guys!